Hello again. Welcome back to Endless Space 2. Playing the United Empire. This is post patch. Still in uh, update 1. So there's lots more to come as far as improvements to the battle system, to uh, unlocking era 5 tech. Uh, which, the tech tree looks like it's going to, I think I read it's going to be um, unlocked, rather, uh, redesigned for the next update. That might be update 3, but uh, let's see. Could upgrade these vessels. They don't really need the upgrade to take on a leecher which is pretty much uh, incapable of fighting. So... <clears throat> oh yeah. Wait. Did it just leave? Uh, okay. I'm not gonna really be too concerned. still in the lead as far as founding that outpost, that colony rather. Um, should zoom out and see if I have any fleets that I'm not paying attention to. Got one in, one in storage. Unlock new a new hull in a matter of moments. Influence might be good. Um, I generally go for approval bonuses next. This guy's got a lot of good skills that come. I mean, plus ten is small in, in a late game, but it it also is plus 10%, so that's really plus 11. Uh, we'll go th for approval. That folk. And we'll just move to the next turn. <clears throat> now, since I have to design this new pole, Thinking I will just try to go as quickly as possible after I design this hull. Alright, that's good. Alright. On Xenius. I should have asked for the location. I don't know if I see that. The Sophons, where must they be? They must be up here, which would mean they traveled very pretty far, because oh, who's this? Sophons and Cravers, I think. That mean no. They cannot disrupt because I think I'm guarding this system. They can't guard it, so they can't obstruct me. I'm tempted to kill them, but I don't really care that much. Um, should have no. That's not where my patrol is. This is my patrol. Gonna send it speeding around the universe. Suppose. I think it has four probes. Medium Desert World with Transvine and Hyperion thus far. Also has Gossamer. I forgot what Gossamer does. Trade. Alright. Actually, let me look at that in another second. Converts trade system value to influence is how I read that, which, <laughs> which would be pretty amazing. I mean, that's like overpowered. And at least it what it would have been in the past. Uh, uh, lost cities. That's, that's cool. I have lava and steps to research. In 
to unlock that. What does that... Oh, approval. Minus 25% overpopulation. I think that's overpopulation. Um, let me just look at one of these systems while I'm here. Oh, they don't show the little icon. Yeah, that looks like overpopula po uh, overpopulation. I can't remember right now what the overcolonization looks like. We can make a battleship, so that's time to update templates, create a template. Um, the uh, Goliath. Oop, Goliath. Sopran. Sopran. Hyperdrive, Hyperium drive. Could go for some nano repair, but that's mm, another defensive spot s slot. Uh, get 20% of a uh, bonus to repair, so I'm gonna guess that's gonna be as efficient as. The defenses that I could come up with would be. Um, let's make this guy. Oh, I think my headset is running out of battery. Unless it's hitting my jacket. Uh, I like to put the torpedoes up here, so we'll make this another long range vessel. Uh, maybe the Goliath should, should be Goliath. It should be named something like the, uh, well I've got e uh, eagles, so how about the falcon? Hopefully it saves it. It does. Now I'll create uh, the goliath, which will be... Oh man. That's been happening a lot to Yao. Um, let's, let's pull this one out. A little bit of extra damage from weapons, and then I'll deck this one out with slugs. Or pinch beam. Still keep that just for a little. University. Laser. Now, let's go with the double hull. These will be updated not too long after. Uh, I don't see Goliath here, so I was having difficulty saving templates before. See if that. Let's see if this saves. Oh, there it is. Maybe I neglected to type the uh, double. Um, the double enter after typing in. Maybe I should make this more durable with some armor instead of a pinch beam there. 
pretty versatile vessel. At this point, it doesn't take a lot to construct it, and it's there. Alright, um... composition but that wasn't too hard um, new luxury construction complete yeah I knew that all right I'm getting some better weapons um, I have a pretty good cache of money or dust and Hyperion so uh, two patrols sure um, okay Election time. Let's throw. I'm thinking intimidating candidates. I already have this law, so all I need for that law is broad support, I think. That's probably not realistic right now. So I'll just throw official support behind industrialists. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. The suspense. Look how close the scientists are. That's good. Let's see. Uh, no, I want to see. Broad and moderate. a fleet that I think I would be able to handle quite easily, but I'll probably wait. Circle up here. I mean, I know they had a fleet that was, oh, uh, maybe it was this fleet. Because I guess it would be hard to imagine them unlocking depleted isotopes this early. Luxury resources here, but no strategic. Um, that's an anomaly, so that would be good. And I'll pop some cash makers. I want to do. I do want to add. Uh, this is faster than. Okay, that's faster than building an infinite supermarket. So go ahead and do that. Up. 
goes to get 20% after that. This. this is uh, a three. Amianthoid. I've never seen this one. Or I guess I have seen it now. I had not yet seen this one. Um, third cup of coffee today. It's a three cup of coffee day. Boost manpower. Okay. Not too excited about that. I'm sure that could become an issue at some point. Uh, okay, looks like they might get here in time to mess with my patrol. That's annoying. Could send this fleet out, but it's much weaker than theirs. In terms of attack, it's much better than theirs in terms of Defense. What's this? Another patrol. Alright, I gotta quickly plug in my headphones. Or headset. Good. Sorry for the bumps. Curiosity here and here, 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 and here. All right, let's go. Oh, that's expensive. If I just do the patrol, uh, that's accounting for most of the cost. Uh, hello. Really don't like how those get stuck sometimes. Go there first. This patrol I think I'll send over to this fleet, have them circulate. Oh, I've almost got weapons. Hmm, maybe I should have held off on creating this, because I am running a deficit while that um, event is active that gives me extra research. But they are pretty, pretty well equipped. Who's this? Oh. Well, it's, I didn't get attacked as soon as I entered it. Oh. Space battle is going to prevent me from doing anything there. I'm tempted to go up here. Kind of flesh out my view of the rest of this constellation. Uh, it's Pickle Cemetery. Mm. 
Alright, I guess that space battle is over. Means I'm gonna get attacked next turn. Pretty sure. Alright, last time I got this quest, I was never able to succeed at it because someone killed them before I did. At least that's my interpretation. Um, I am not going to be able to do that. Well, let's see. 51.78. Oh. Well, I can at least survive a battle. Especially if I have the favorable odds. Oh! That hurts. I think they were misrepresenting. Yeah, they misrepresented the uh, strength of these vessels. Mm. Well, I guess it did, took me two turns to build that patrol. So no biggie. Let's adjust our falcon. Hyperion shields. Proof laser. There are going to be um, changes that have been greenlighted from a user idea. I don't remember who it was. But the idea was to make modules, uh, to make weapons modules uh, more diverse by uh, enabling the. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I'll do that later. I don't, don't feel the need to rush a, another fleet um, just yet. I do want another patrol. And I guess after that I'll make a falcon to fill out one of these other ranks. Um, yeah, so the idea is to create weapons modules that employ uh, multiple, well, just single strategic resources and then multiple strategic resources so that um, you could have one with both adamantian and uh, you could have missiles or torpedoes with both adamantian and titanium. Maybe make it more powerful. I don't know if you'd be, you'd be able to combine adamantian and then make it explode more powerfully with Hyperion. Alright. I suppose... No, I'll wait until the Goliath 2 comes out and then I will uh, form up with this fleet and send it up. I, I think I'll just... My strategy will be to battle out with my current fleet and just let them die slowly. Um, and then build up my new fleet. Uh, are we happy? Yes, we are. Sci-fi design. And... How about we colonize something else? Got a pretty good source of... Uh, these already. 
dry world, psychoactive air, Jadonics. What does Jadonics do? Uh, for some reason it doesn't reveal Jadonics. Maybe I haven't gathered any. Um, I guess I'll colonize the Tundra world. Currently they're ecstatic, but they have a pretty low overpopulation penalty. Will become. Actually, I guess it won't because they can't grow larger, so it won't become more problematic. Uh, Okay. I had forgotten I took I chose that. So that is the principal reason that um, I think I might go for maximum stock of manpower on ships, but Yeah. I'm gonna Oh, is that if on the Senate? Yeah. He's, I don't think this guy's ever going to be on the Senate. Uh, let me look at my heroes. Oh, he is the number two. He is the scientist. So I am. I'm in. Maybe he would end up on the Senate in an ideal universe where I can draw from the broad scientific uh, community. Plus 50% science production law. Yeah, okay. I mean, the, the base law for the industrialists I think is more advantageous to me right now, dust windfall. Um, the scientist based law, because technology costs are so high, just would not be very helpful. Craven fleet goes. Be surprised if they stay put, but it looks like they might be. Oh great. I don't know anything about the pacifist power. I've never played Lumeries and I did not play Sophons long enough to really gain any insight into how to Oh, I guess they're not pacifists, they're scientists. Um, so let's see. My tech per turn, 646. Uh, that's four turns per tech right now. That's not too bad, honestly. Uh, I think I'll push focused plasma up. No, I will put Focus Plasma second. All right, I've got, well, let me make this fleet first. Okay, that has 10 of 10. Oh no, eight of nine command points. All right, that's what I was hoping. I'm gonna send them up here to take care of this, this, this uh, uh, the he show there. And I suppose I can generate more manpower by increasing my food production. I'll do that for a turn, well, for three turns and see, see what to do then. All right, yeah, so the Cravers are heading out, out in the boot. 
I wonder if they're going to attack one of my colonies. See how my relations are with them. Oh, okay. Already reached the, uh, the tipping point, so I'm going to have to... be on the ready. Alright, I, I regret sending this fleet up, and this fleet is... gonna have to come back, I think. Small snow. John Snow's younger brother. I mean, son. John, so John Snow's son. Small Snow. The dead. Ostensibly, Lumeri's origin leads your fleet to his frozen planet. All right, so I could loot them or lay them lay them to rest. Um. Gosh, I don't want to increase political the militarist political ideology. So I am going to lay them up for three turns? How long does it really take to bury some Lumeris? <sighs> Alright, I'm going to think about this turn. I'm going to take a break. Kind of, uh, got to rethink my um, production agenda with these cravers underway. Might have to rush some ships in Vorta and Pavo. And well, I guess it wouldn't make sense to do it in Pavo. Or it wouldn't make sense to do it in Sable because they wouldn't be able to form up very quickly. But I'm thinking I could send a fleet from, or a ship from here down to M29, Vorta to here, Columba to here. I don't have a ton of influence, but uh, anyway, that's my intuition about how to approach the potential for a Craver invasion, because I don't think my manpower is going to be very strong on these. Alright, 200. 205, 0 on the Pavo. So it's my most vulnerable world. Obviously, I just settled it. Let's see if I have any. I have no surplus. Could be a dark day. Alright, see you in a bit.